not why can't it did jesus came to change this law doctor i want you to you you have a lot i want you to teach our people mostly these pastors and christians and the daddy geos politician in the pulpit i want you to teach them doctor because some of them have been endorsing some have kept quiet some are silent they don't want to talk because they want appointment or they will send their boys to the go to the uh, to the jagaban or whatever we are not interested with any political party but it's the danger that will f that will come out of this thing as we are facing a very dangerous allegation of foreignization and islamization in the zoological republic and this thing a match are you telling me there's no competent christian in the whole northern zoological republic as they said doctor you have the mic i don't want to it is a pity talk. it is a pity the difference around the world and the nation of their father is the margin i defend politics as margin the good and the bad together for manipulation by few people and the bible will follow lies that my people perish for lack of knowledge like I said before, many people believe that everything can go, but this is wrong. Not only that we have seen the scripture, that Ishmael, who was an illegitimate son of Abraham, did not grow up in the house of Abraham. He was sent away. And before he was sent away, even when he was still inside the stomach of his mother, the God of Abraham caused him to be a terrorist. You get this information in Genesis chapter 16. He will be a wild monkey, a wild donkey, and his hand will be against all his brothers. This is the origin of a terrorism. This is the origin of terrorism, and that is why they are terrorists. Ishmaelites are descendants of Ishmael, and the Muslims come from there. When they were sent away, they went back to Egypt. The mother is from Egypt. Egypt uh, uh, her guy was an Egyptian. And sure, after quite some time, this, it is this Egypt that her descendant of, Ish, or of uh, Isaac, the children of uh, Jacob as slaves for many centuries. Why is it that our people, why is it that Bible believers who study the Bible will not believe that what Almighty causes, nobody can make a right? Nobody can make a right. What he causes, he is caused forever. And whatever he does that is good, it remains good as long as the distances and the, the decisions are kept. When Israelites left Egypt, they were warned. Don't even, uh, don't even believe the politics of other nations. The Almighty Himself is our king, is our Savior, is everything, is our leader. And they look at what happened when these people were in the promised land. They went to Samuel and asked Samuel for a king like other nations. This is an insult to the Almighty. And the Almighty did not do much. He told them, okay, he told someone to give them the king they want. It is not mind that he will select King Saul, and King Saul was the worst king of Israel. So when we are in a hurry to do anything, the Almighty will destroy us. Every gift of the Almighty is not only rare, especially when we are craving for it. Look at when the people crave for flesh meat in the wilderness. He gave them the flesh meat, but everybody who tested that flesh meat died. Our people should know that we should be peculiar when we do the right thing he wants us to do. When we avoid the people he wants us to avoid, there are, there are two sides of every coin. The good and the, the up and the, and the bottom. Two sides of road. The narrow, road, the narrow way and the highway. And Almighty had made a choice for us that we should follow the narrow way. To the narrow way there is life. And we abandon it. We believe that anything can go. Why should we, Bible believers, allow our enemies to rule over us? Muslim, Muslim ticket is a danger. 
the purpose of Ishmael is to conquer Isaac. The purpose of Israelites is to conquer Israelites. But Israelites, Israel has refused to be conquered in this day. Yes, we know that uh, for quite a lot of uh, centuries, there was no Israel because of their uh, sin. And when they realized themselves, they came back. And they are power now in the Middle East. Why can't they first? Why can't Christians be strong wherever they are? I really don't know why. Is it because Christians hate Christianity? Is it because Christians hate Christianity? But the Jews never hate themselves. And that is why they remain formidable in the Middle East here today. I call upon their friends, I call upon Christians in Nigeria to sit up. You can only be special. You can only be peculiar. You can only be royal priesthood. You can only be holy nation. When you go are willing to do the business of God of Abraham. God of Abraham is God of all. But the problem is that not everybody is worshiping God of Abraham. We can only worship God of Abraham when we do what God of Abraham directs us. Many people are not doing it. And those who don't do the business of God of Abraham are not worshiping God of Abraham. When we go to Leviticus chapter 18, there are a lot of restrictions there. There are things a good person should not do. There are things those who belong to, who serve God of Abraham, will not do. Others may be doing it, but we cannot do it. And when we, when we don't do it, the Almighty protects us. But when we wish to be done by the evil, the Almighty will destroy us. I demand Christians in Nigeria to ship up. Muslim, Muslim ticket is really a disaster. Let us look behind. It was formerly, or not even formerly, even still, in the ruling party, we have Muslim Christian, but is that person a Christian? Is that person a Christian? Look at what is happening. Under his watch, more Christians have been killed. Under his watch. He's really not a Christian. He's, not a, he's really not a believer. A believer should not be by name. A believer should be by works and by action. How can we have a believer who does not even talk in the midst of destruction of his people? It's just like the Pope. Bible prophecy tells us that Pope is really not a good person. Daniel chapter 7, verses 20 to 25. When we see a history of papacy, which is running out of Roman Empire, when the Roman Empire you know, fell in 476 AD, along the line, the Roman Empire was distributed into 10 ethnic nations. After a short while, in, five, in 438, that was when Papa C. rose up, Bishop of Rome, and became boastful, became different from all other kings, and spoke boastfully against all other all of that horse because in Bible prophecy a horn is a king a horn is a king and the beast is a nation this horn king destroyed three of the ten nations kings of nations that were before it and ruled over the other seven and spoke against the most high and spoke and they changed times and laws of the most high and persecuted the sense of the most high for 1260 years what are we saying it is not those who call on the name lord lord but those who do the will of the lord but the thing is that when we say this lord lord the lord is undefined we have to you know, we have to drive his name it is what distinguishes him from all others. Many of us have created us in the name of Christianity. Many of us have created us in the name of Christian. But how many of us are looking into the world to know that this world has been foretold and anything happening is written in the scripture? Doctor, doctor, I, I demand to, us. Doctor, I want to throw in uh, so that we gather more things from you. There is something you said now. Presently, we see the insecurity. We see the agenda coming, we see the intention is very visible. Even they have written letters to churches that churches will be closed, shut down. Attack on the churches have been increased all this while. Despite we have number two, who is a son and a pastor, not a Christian. He is a pastor, Professor 
Osi Banjo is a pastor in Redeemed Church, a very big pastor. We have seen his position there, and all these things are happening. He cannot talk. He couldn't say anything. I want you maybe, would I call it prediction, or what you know that will happen based on the calculations of what has happened before, the moment you give them chance, they will come in and dominate and destroy you. If this thing is being permitted now, what is the fate of the Christian in the north? How are they going to be looked like? How is this thing going to affect the nation, other nations, like in the Middle Belt, uh, uh, the Oduduwas? I, although I know the Oduduwas are more connected to their natural cultural things, most of the time, more than religion. But what of to our people who always open up to embrace foreign things? How dangerous is it going? How is it going to affect our people, both our psychology and then the, the, the danger, the door being opened for these people to penetrate? Because nobody, no number one person, no number two person, no number three person that will be a Christian. Let's say if this thing emerge, we are not discussing politics, but we are just assuming if it happens in that way. Then also, if you check them, the party, APC party national, this thing is them, 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 them. Based on the interview I have listened to uh, Baba Chao, Lawal, and all those things. Doctor, I would like you to tell us what do you think is likely to be the danger? How is it going to affect our people? Can we call it prediction or Based on your calculations, you have seen how they have conquered many places where chances, those little chances have been given and they were able to penetrate. Can you uh, maybe throw some light on that area, please? When a people choose tolerance, the enemies will adopt violence. When we want to be tolerant, our enemies are violent. There is war in this life. And the Almighty has professed or has given to the told us that when we get towards the time of the end, it is the time of wrath. The two laws I have mentioned are at war. If we give a chance, we will be destroyed. Because devil is at rage to destroy the remnant of the children of the Most High. We should take what God has told us very serious. To the most special to him, we should avoid everything he wants us to avoid. He is not talking, saying anything more than what he has said. We should remember that in the Garden of Eden, he told Adam and Eve not to do some certain things. When these people choose to be carefree, when they wanted not to do, he allowed them. So the Almighty allows anything to go because we don't listen to him. But when we listen to him, he will stop it because we will always you know, stand by what he says. What am I saying? The chance is that these people will destroy us if we do nothing is 100 percent when we look behind it will not be easy when we look ahead it will not be easy at present it's not easy muslim muslim ticket should not in a land where there are christians there shouldn't even be a believer there shouldn't be even be a, a, a muslim because the children of the most high are not muslims the truth of the Most High drives truth. The Most High is truth. The Most High is not religion. And all the religions are antagonistic to each other. What are we saying? This thing we are in now should not be allowed to continue. We have had enough. We should learn a le much lesson from what we have learned. We should not be postponing the evil day for any selfish we should not support our enemies we should support ourselves because the children of the most high were in the land of egypt 
Egypt was a very hardened place. The Almighty removed them from there. If Egypt was good, the Almighty would not have removed them from there. If Egyptians had known him, the Almighty would not have removed them from there. We saw the contest between Moses and the Egyptian. It shows that uh, their gods are not the same. God of Israel is not God of Egypt. God of Christians is not God of Muslims. Look at what we do. The Almighty has you know, related with you of Israel, and there's no other nation on earth that the Almighty has related except nation of Israel. So, and we are following the the way the ways he has related with the nation of Israel, and no other nation on earth is doing that. So why should we be coexisting and allowing our enemies to remain over us? This is really not good. This is really because we hate ourselves. This is really because we love others more than us, and that these people, these others we love more than us, are our enemies. Why should good people love the enemies? Good people should love good people, and the bad people should look onto the good people to be good. And not good people looking at bad people to be bad. It's an amazing with us because we want to perish for lack of knowledge. Why should this thing be? We have to question ourselves. It's all about money. It's not all about work. Doctor, I want to throw this also to you. I don't know how funny it may sound or whatever, but I believe somehow it will give maybe insight. What is the difference between the God of Abraham in Genesis 21? from verse 12 where he says separate these two people and the god of jesus of the christian church what is the difference between the two gods is it the same god or are there different gods and why is it that the mind the understanding the philosophy in christendom uh is something is a philosophy that is a philosophy that will destroy them accept everything liberality whatever that comes in no problem I want to know this God that put the law and command and this God that brought Jesus, are they the same God? When we do not do what the Almighty says we should do, it is devil talking to us. The God in the scripture is the same God forever and ever. Amen. The distinction he puts into anything he does, it is the same forever and ever. It is due to misunderstanding that the people do whatever they do, and the, the Muslim will turn around and claim it is the same God. Let me cite, for example, when Israel left Egypt in the wilderness, this is shortly after the Ten Commandments were given. Ten Commandments is the eternal law of God of Abraham. He can't even change it forever and ever and ever and ever. Because it is the Ten Commandments that state what is sin and define what is love. If you violate any of the Ten Commandments, you don't love, you are a sinner and a sinner and a sinner. Okay, after the Ten Commandments were given, the Almighty call of Moses to come up. When Moses went up, God stayed for less than seven weeks. Aaron led the children of Israel to break the second commandment. And the second commandment for this making image in the likeness of anything. Do you know what funny thing? Breaking this second commandment and molding that molding this golden calf, Moses called it God who led them out of Egypt. This is shocking. This is sad. So what people do is to call whatever they call and say it's God of uh, Abraham. This is wrong. There are laws of the Almighty that are eternal. And many Christians have misunderstood him and they are not worshipping God of Abraham. Whom they call Jesus and the, his stance against God of Abraham is fake. Is not and void. Is a deceiver, and that's why Christians are so much deceived. Can you imagine that these people are so much deceived, and the enemies are so much united that they are killing them? Imagine the irony. Those who believe that they are for Jesus are so much deceived, so much confused. 
they wrote themselves. So much divide, you know, divided, so much disunited, that those who are the enemies are so much united to pursue them and to be crying, what a shame of a people. Nobody can make right who the Almighty made wrong. Nobody can bless whom the Almighty cost. There are people the Almighty cost because of the attitude. Nobody who would change Judas is cut out and we saw his end. And nobody would equally change King Pharaoh and we saw his end. It is our attitude that we you know, that lead the Almighty to do whatever he does against us. God of many Christians are really not God of Abraham. And that is why they are so confused and so deceived and so united, disunited and their God is money. And it is this money they are calling Jesus Christ. If Christians follow the path of Israelites and abide by the will of Yahweh, who is God of heaven, they will remain united. If we look up now, we will see that Israel is united and that is why the enemies have not conquered them. If we are not united, enemies will conquer us. Enemies will conquer them. Because those who abide by the commandment of the Most High, the Almighty will protect them. I tell people, if we read Matthew 24, Matthew 24, the Almighty told Israel to end, he told the disciples that the Muslim will be destroyed. The Almighty will not give them dates, but the Almighty gave them clues. This destruction did not happen in two years. It didn't happen in seven years. It didn't happen in ten years. It didn't happen in fifteen years, twenty years, thirty years. And these people did not say, I buy them, I tell by fire. No, 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 they didn't say that. They were waiting and watching and praying and asking the Holy Spirit for direction. And uh, this thing was happening. The social of Jerusalem, after it was foretold, took 41 years. But in today's economy, tell a Christian something will happen next year. If it didn't happen tomorrow, you tell him, my friend, get out. Christians are so deceived in this life. And that is why they always cry. They cry because they are ignorant. They don't want the truth. They are deceived, they are confused. But all the information, all the power, the key for to everything we have is in the Bible. Is in God's word. Is in Yahweh's word. Is the Creator's word. It is in the word that Jesus used when he was on earth. And the enemy could not conquer him. The enemy could not conquer him. When the Messiah came to earth, there were two things purposely he came to do. One was conditional. One was not conditional. The one that was conditional is that uh, he must die no matter how. He must be put to death because the wages of sin is death. Messiah died because he stood in the way in order to pay the death penalty that was due for the Maheef when they violated their rule. And the other one is conditional. He will set up the kingdom of righteousness on earth if and only if. Israel completed. Because if you read Daniel chapter 9, verse 24, there are, there are six conditions given to them. If they fail in any of the conditions, the Almighty will not restore kingdom of Israel again. He will not establish kingdom of righteousness. And uh, we all read in the scripture that he came to his own, and his doom received him not. Why should he be gracious to his own who receive him not? Look at our prophet today, Namdi Kano. Is there anything he did? You know, he did say, you know, he said that has not come to pass. Why is it that people are blind? Why is it that people are, are just present day, present day, they just want present time gratification? This is wrong. People are fooling themselves. The Almighty's way is real. The Almighty's way is serious. If we Finally, Doctor, in rounding the program up now, what is your advice to uh, the uh, Christian in Zoological Republic? Uh, what is your advice to them regarding this danger that is coming? If they mistakenly give this room, it's like um, uh, allowing the, 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 
they this thing this, allowing them to influence them more and more giving them more chance to penetrate them despite balancing things uh, uh, as a mere formality politically it's just formality they're still killing christians many christian born in churches if they finally allow this they know what will happen just as you have said what is your suggestion finally in rounding the program up then you round it up you wrap it up because time is not on aside doctor what is your suggestion to christian i call up I call on Bible believers to humble themselves and unite. Two people can't work together unless they agree. Two people can work together only when they agree. And the terms of agreement is in truth. Our God is truth. Our God is the right God. If we fail to unite, I will now ask Christians in Nigeria to look for visa in Somalia and Afghanistan. Nothing will, nothing will stop their destruction in Nigeria. Nothing. Truth is not a hope. Truth is not a wish. Truth is absolute. The Almighty told Israel and the whole world, if you don't do what I command you to do, I will destroy you. Christians in Nigeria have never done what the Almighty wanted him to do. And that discussion is coming if they allow Muslim Muslim ticket to sell. Prayer will not stop it. Fasting will not stop it. Casting and banding will not stop it. What will stop it is their unity and their way of righteousness. If not, if not, if not, people will be massacred. Devil is walking to Muslims in the world. Wherever they are, is not safe. I want to tell Christians that love money. And with money, they will die. I will tell them that they should remember that Mazel was tested and he was offered the whole world and he still said get behind me Satan anybody who is because of money and is selling his best right how can a person who studies the Bible have any relationship with the Muslim in the name of politics the Almighty hates the Almighty hates politics the Almighty gave his people civility. And this is why when Israel wanted to embrace politics, the Almighty was not happy. The Almighty told Samuel, listen to them, it is not you they are rejecting, it is me their king. I am their king and savior and they have rejected me. Okay, give them what they want. And who he gave them is the worst of all the kings of Israel. So, I have to warn Christians in Nigeria. If they make this mistake, I will invoke heaven to destroy them. They are not worthy to, to carry Bible. They are not worthy to open Bible. They are deceivers and they root, they smell. They hate Christianity and they hate themselves. But evil people love themselves and they will pursue them and destroy them. Matthew 23. The Almighty cost the leaders of Israel. Woe to them, woe to them, woe to them. And the Almighty in, in, in Ezekiel chapter 14, if a country sin against me, I will bring famine. If a country sin against me, I will bring terrible disease. If a country sin against me, I will bring wild beasts. If a country sin against me, I will bring war. If Christians make a mistake this time around there, both of them will destroy all of them. And nobody will stop it. This is the word of the Most High. Protect yourself. Protect whom you claim is your God. God of Ishmael is not God of Isaac. Yes, it is the same being that created them. But everybody is not worshipping the same being. We have to understand this. Why are we praising so much because of money? Why are you praising so much because of sex? 
But they say you should come in the midst of believers. There are two things believers will not do. They will not lie. They will not get tired. What is happening with our people? Because I see them. Freedom of speech, freedom of freedom of association doesn't mean that one should be stupid. When devil wanted freedom of speech in heaven, the Almighty told him that there's a limitation. And he has spread him from heaven. All those foreign angels, they are about 200 million and they're here on the earth. They're in the abyss. So we should be very careful. We should be very careful. No Christian should vote for any Muslim in Nigeria. 